This is a beautiful Velpathic Breccia Lunar Slice. It's for sale. It's beautiful, but it's not what we're getting you interested in today. I just wanted to show this to you because this is such a beautiful lunar and we have some Eucrites here that you can buy that look like a lunar imposter. Now, obviously they're not lunar. They come from a, a Vestoid or a Vestin-like um, asteroid, not the moon, but you'll see the similarities. So this is a Felpathic Breccia and Sue's gonna introduce us to I think three different uh, Eucrites that kinda have a lunar look to them. So lunar budget meteorites that aren't from the moon. Right? Uh, yeah, two, di <laughs> two different kinds. Okay. Um, the uh, first variety of um, the lunar imposter, or NWA15923, we have two specimens. These are Eucrite melt breccias found in northwest Africa in 2022. They were purchased at the 2025 Tucson Rock Show and brought home to Chandler, Arizona, cut and polished by Tover. Yo. Both of them are end cuts. We have a 7.203 gram end cut for only $37. That's this one right here. Seven, how much? 7.203 grams wow. for $37. Look at the fusion crust on the outside. Mirror polish. Whoever, who polishes? They did a great job. Who did it? Topher Cosmo oh. Spinato. Oh. Wow, look at that though. It really, really does look like lunar. This is a 20.99 gram end cut. It is $105. Beautiful. I could keep on spinning that for an hour. Let's keep going. Now we have eight specimens of the same classification. The uh, first five we show you will uh, be the slices. This is NWA15658. This is a Eucrite melt brescia found in Northwest Africa in 2022. Wow. These show beautiful brecciation. Um, all of these um, NWA 15658s that we're gonna show you were cut by Chris Monk of Rocks on the Ground and then polished by Topher Cosmo Spinato. Yo, yo, yo. Mm -hmm. uh, the five slices that we have to show you were polished on one side. Okay, that was the 10.04. This is the 10.5 gram. These are sister slices. The 10.04 that uh, Topher just showed you costs $56. This is a 10.51 gram that costs only $58. And when Sue said it has great brecciation, it really super does. Beautiful class. And really looks like that lunar. But we have so many of these to get through. Let's look at the other ones. Now we have a 15.43 gram slice for you that is priced at $78. Wow. Again, beautiful. Now you see these little divots or holes? Those are vesicles. Those are caused by the rapid cooling in the melt areas because this is a Eucrite melt breccia. So you obviously see the breccia the in the the matrix in between those class are melted and they cooled so quickly that it left voids in them so this one is the 15.4 gram one and you have a cost on this one one more yes, time yes it is 15.43 grams and it is priced at 78 dollars yeah. next up we have a 20.25 gram uh, slice and this one is priced at $102. Wow. Now you'll be able to see a little bit of staining in there. I think that that may be actual metal that has stained the piece, but I'm not 100% sure. You'll have to buy it and tell me. But beautiful sample. Again, well, this one has a, has a hole through it. I don't know if it's all the way through, but. Yeah, it is. Well, no, it's not all the way through. Wow, it's on both sides, but it doesn't go all the way through. I felt it, but it doesn't go all the way through. And just so you guys know, on all the back sides of these, um, professional uh, polish on one side 
and then on the other side is off the a wire saw. That's why you see those linear lines, parallel lines going across it, because that's the actual saw blade, the diamond uh, wire blade going across. Sue, the next slice. Yes, this is the last slice. This is a 20.84 gram slice, and it costs $105. It's not the last of this mead race, it's the last slice, right? Yes. This one is really nice too. Lots of melt, lots of vesicles, lots of small little vesicles in this one. Oh, hey, it's decided to go for a fall. Mm -hmm. But beautiful mead race. Um, I think the sister slice to the, oh no, the end cut that goes with this is shaped more like a heart than this one. but. If you're looking for an imposter lunar, an imposter heart-shaped one, this is the obvious meteorite for you. Now we're moving to end cuts. Yep, we have three polished end cuts to show you. The first one weighs 24.18 grams and it costs $121. <coughs> you're not, yeah, that's beautiful. This is why I recommend these Eucrites to uh, new collectors sometimes yeah. before they, you know, are ready to spend the money on um, lunars. Good, yeah. really good to point that out because, like, I, I'm I'm joking around, but I'm serious when I say this is an imposter lunar. It's a lunar on a budget. If you can't afford a lunar, buy this. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying to fool anyone. This is not a piece of the moon, but man, does it look like a piece of the moon, like. Here is the actual moon, and there is the U crate next to it. <laughs> God, it <looks> dog, <laughs> man. <laughs> like, unbelievable. <laughs> so, yeah, if you wanted a meter that looks like a piece of the moon, but it's not, uh, this is a nice end cut. You can definitely see it's, it's a breccia, so it's multiple stones all mashed together. This is end cut number one at a weight of... 24.18 grams at $121. We actually uh, purchased these at the 2024 Tucson Rock Show. Um, I think you had bought one batch and we loved them so much and our customers loved them so much that um, Topher bought more before the show was over. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, we have some left still, but they've just continually been selling since last year. People one, really Once like I these. cut them open, I was like, these are so beautiful. Yeah. I need to have more. Um, this one is 51.77 grams. This one costs two hundred and fifty nine dollars. Really, really super a good example of an end cut with some remnant fusion crust on there. No, virtually no caliche whatsoever and beautiful interior. Again, professionally polished or it looks like a professional polish. I'll put it that way. Topher, you <laughs> definitely know how to polish yeah, uh, this is, meteorites. Yeah. This is amazing. This is a really good one. It's a sizable sample. I have big hands, but this is a sizable sample. It's just under 52 grams. And how much was it, babes? $259. Nice. As you know, we've been showing some very um, affordable meteorites. This is the most expensive meteorite that we are going to show tonight. And it's still, uh -oh. coming... <laughs> uh -oh. um, it's still coming in at under $300. So this wow. is 60.56 grams, and it costs only $288. So this one comes in at a lower um, dollar per gram than the other two entries. It has even better fusion crust on it. These, these are so beautiful. I had so much fun cutting these and polishing them. They came out really well, which is which always adds to the joy. But when you cut this open for the first time, and you're the first human ever to see that on the inside, and you're blown away because this is what it looks like on the outside, and you go by the best you can, and you think, wow, it does it, is it going to be brushated enough? Yeah. Yeah, it is. That's a really nice end cut for, you said 280 or something like that? 288. Oh. Hell, if you, if you ask Sue to buy it for 275 and say that, that Topher is cool, she will give it to you for 275. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. I think that was the last one of these. Uh, NWA 15658? Yeah. 
We do um, have a few more Eucharists to look at. Yeah, but those are the last ones that we thought really, really look like the, the lunar. These other ones are Eucharists, but you'll definitely see a little bit of a difference. Now, I also want to just point out that everything we've been showing so far is brecciated, as you said. You can see a bunch of little rocks jumbled in there. We have an unbrecciated one coming up. Can we do that one first? Absolutely. This one here? It's undoubtedly unbrecciated. Let me pull that back up. I threw you a curve. <laughs> Tover likes to go out of order. He does this at every uh, sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is NWA 14682. Um, as Topher mentioned, this is an unbrecciated eucrite. It was found in northwest Africa in 2022. This is a, a thin, unpolished slice. Um, it is very smooth, though. I actually had to ask yeah. Topher it was, if it was polished or not. Um, this has provenance of Blaine Reed. Um, this is a 5.47 gram slice for only $55. I'm sorry about the confusion, but yes, this is an unbrecciated. So you can see it's homogenous throughout. It's the same material from end to end, top to bottom, front to back. It all looks the same, you know, within reason. But this is a really beautiful piece. And yeah, it's kind of a, of a brittly one that you wouldn't want to put on a lapidary uh, and, and polish up too much. You'd end up losing a bunch of the, 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 the edges and crystals, of the, or not crystals, but the, a lot of the grains on the side. So yeah, this one is probably best not to be polished. But this other one, it's really beautiful, yeah. meteorite too. I, yeah. I would think that it would be boring without the brecciation, but no. it's still, it, it's, it has its own beauty. No, because even it, it has some structure to it. You can see there's a band through here. It's not uh, sedimentary, but there is a band going through there. Some, some type of feature. All right, let's go to, oh, let, let's go to NWA 8036. This is a Eucrite um, polymict. This is a, uh, found in Northwest Africa in 2013. This uh, slice wa um, was cut and polished on both sides Yay. by Topher. Um, I remember this one. I, I, I was never fond of the outside. I thought yeah. it was very boring. I thought it looked like yeah, <laughs> something kind of gross. I was like, this is a, just a boring brown piece of crud. And then you turd. cut one open. <laughs> the turd, okay, I wasn't gonna say it, but and I couldn't believe how beautiful it is on the yeah. inside. This is a 6.647-gram um, slice uh, for only $34. And you you saw on the other ones, they were Eucrite melt breches. This is a Eucrite p -mict. That means poly or many mict. So there's many different types of rocks or material melted or combined into this breccia. So... This is a polymict breccia, so many different types of rocks. That's why you see many different types of rocks. Yeah, it's beautiful on the inside. Polished oh. on both sides. This has a provenance of uh, Ismaili Muhammad and Adam Aronson as well. Oh, so you know it's real. <laughs> this is 205 grams of an unclassified eucrite that is just begging to be cut. Looks like a loaf of bread. And every single slice will have almost a complete line of crust. Next up, we have a, a uh, unclassified eucrite. Uh, this is a brecciated eucrite uh, found in Northwest Africa. The outer edge is lined with fresh fusion crust. The entire, it, it is a complete slice. I don't yeah. want to take that staring, stealing your thunder, but the crust goes all the way around. This was um this was actually cut from a um two hundred and four point eight four gram stone that I'm not sure if you purchased or um I believe you did. Oh, uh, I did, yeah. Okay, at the two thousand twenty four meteorite mansion, um, Chris Monk uh, of Rocks on the Ground cut it. It's actually on one of the videos um, that we've released in the past. Um, then Topher took over and polished it on one side and. Um, I, I just think this rock has a really beautiful internal matrix. There's This is one of two left. Uh, there were a lot of them, but yeah, they're just about gone. Yeah. Look at the fusion crust. Yeah, this is a really, really super good example. It was a single stone, so it wasn't worth getting it classified. It's the only reason it wasn't classified. 
If I had multiple stones or if this stone was bigger, absolutely 100% I would have classified this. It's gorgeous. When I cut it open the first time, I was like, are you kidding me? Finally, Topher hit a home run. Finally. This is a 17.74 gram slice for $98. And I'm going to correct something that you said because I told you earlier some wrong information. This is actually uh, cut by Chris Monk on his wire saw and... Oh, you did say it was finished on one side, right? Yep, one Yeah, side. it's finished on one side. But I just wanted to point out, it has a tiny bit of a nub right here. I mean, you can barely see it. But, yeah, it's not polished on both sides or finished on both sides. I don't, yeah, you probably didn't say that. I didn't say it. I said All polished right. on one side. I yeah. asked you about it, and then you pointed out the nub. All right. <laughs> well, that one's unclassified. It was only unclassified because it was a single stone, and it just wasn't big enough. But... Sometimes I can't tell that it wasn't polished because Chris just cut the rock so well. I mean, there weren't yeah. any marks on it or anything. Yeah, you don't see any of those uh, saw marks on it. It's a, it's a lot softer material. So, yeah, it cut yeah, really well. Yeah, gorgeous. All right, we have one more, huh? No, we have... Oh, oh no, you're, oh, you're, you're right. Wow. No, I threw this one in at the last minute because I we had a $22 meteorite. I just had to throw in <laughs> oh, one yeah. that was lower than $20. So... <laughs> Here we have a $19 meteorite. <laughs> $19. I just had to bring you guys a deal. Mm. So uh, it's, a, it's a little one, but it's really pretty. It's a little bit mighty. It is 2.041 grams. This is NWA 11576. It's also known as air chocolate. This has, um, uh, again, Ismaili Muhammad and Adam Aronson uh, provenance. This uh, was found in Northwest Africa in 2017. Topher, um, you know, you didn't purchase them in 2024, but you brought them with you so you would have meteorites to oh, cut yeah. when you were there. Yeah, these were cut at the mansion. Which not I purchased thought was really time. silly because yeah. I knew you were still going to buy a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you were you were going to be on a budget that year, but yeah, yeah re likely story. But the, <laughs> the thing about these, were you going to say why it got its nickname of air chocolate? No, I was just going to mention that I don't think you polished this particular slice because it is so thin. Yeah. But it's still, you did um, you did a great job cutting it. Yeah, this is nicknamed air chocolate because on the outside of it, when you get really good pieces, it's bubbly and porous, uh, the, the, the fusion crust. Um, you can see that this one obviously has a little bit of, or a good amount of melt and vesicles in there. Um, you can see right there. But the air chocolate is called that because... It has these uh, bubbles in it all throughout, uh, especially on the exterior. So, yeah, cool nickname, cool meteorite, under $20. I don't know why you're not buying it right now. God, dog! Uh-oh. <laughs>